Rose, you've been involved, you've you've led, you've been led, you've observed, you've trained, developed so many, you've been exposed to so many leaders. And I hate to use the terms good and bad, maybe effective and less <laughs> effective. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, there are there are bad leaders out there. Um let's talk about the very best, the top slice of the very best that you've ever been exposed to. Have you identified any traits and habits? that most of the very, very best leaders share in common? Yes. And we've talked about several of them, right? Good listener, willing to be vulnerable, able to tell you they've made a mistake. I stand corrected. I didn't do that quite right. They're willing to go first. So we saw that in the first responders when those leaders went into that building ahead of everyone else, I'll go first. Um, where they live it and walk it more than they talk it. And those are the kind of people, courage, courage a level of courage, a willing to take a risk, seeing multiple points of view, able to translate really well, not just communicate, complex concepts, strategies, making it simple. Um, I'm sorry to say I met a lot more of those leaders earlier in my career than I have later. Mm. Wow. How about Rose, the other side of the coin? those that are the least effective, do they have any, uh, did you, you spot any traits and habits that most of them seem to have in common as well? Yeah, um, particularly today, uh, always obviously people who have bully kinds of, I'm the boss kind of thing. Um, and bosses get compliance and leaders get commitment, right? So I love it when somebody is earnestly telling you what they feel and you're on your phone texting a message, answering an email. I've seen it. I've seen it. Um, where you cut somebody off before they've even had a chance to finish what they're saying. Uh, where you're MIA, you're not around. Uh, I've got one leader we work with um, that seems to leave every time something important is happening and the people are left sort of holding it, whether they have to talk at a stockholders meeting or at a board meeting, um, what we would refer to as absentee leadership. Um, they're MIA. They delegate everything under the guise of empowerment. Um, yeah, I mean, spend more time on what they need than you need. I think that, and that throughout the career, you've met that type. 